This is week 33, and these are my words. And this week I wanted to talk a little bit about comparison because I find myself guilty of comparing myself to other people and then judging myself on this idea, this false idea I have of what their lives must be like or how great things are for them based on external things when I don't really know anything about them and I don't know for sure if I had those things in my life if my life would be any different or any better. But uh, this idea of comparison, my good friend Dallas likes to call it the compare and despair game. Because as soon as you start to compare yourself to other people, it's very easy to start to despair thinking about all of the things you wish were different or you wish you had. And so I wanted to chat a little bit about that and see if there are things that you do when you find yourself, if you find yourself, comparing your life and your achievements things that are material or non-material in your life to other people around you and how that makes you feel. Um, because I often have a hard time with that and that's when I find that I get the most down and the most sad is when I mentally rack up what I think is so great in someone else's life and then I compare it to my own life and I get so sad that I don't have that or I haven't achieved it or things like that. So I would love to hear what you do when you find yourself comparing yourself to others. And if there's anything that you have found to help you stop comparing yourself to other people. Because I do find that gratitude, being thankful and grateful for what I have and I'm aware of, does make me feel better. But sometimes when I'm in the compare and despair game, it's very hard to have gratitude and very hard to get out. So I'd love to hear what you think about that. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any suggestions on things you'd like me to chat about, I'm more than happy to do so. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.